So like what we've been doing in the last few videos, we're using NHL Lottery Simulator .com. Um, uh, it's, it's interesting to talk with the NHL Lottery Simulation um, just because there's nothing else to talk about this day under season really where it's a lost season and uh, hopefully we can make the playoffs next year, but we're not making the playoffs this year. Um, you know, let's see what we can do. So I believe first time we did it, we won the lottery simulation and yesterday we got third. So first overall to the Buffalo Sabres, much expected. They're second worst in the league. Second overall to the Coyotes. It seems maybe Ottawa gets third because they're fourth place right now. So Detroit. So it just goes in that order that it was supposed to go. So it's practically the standings right now. But first overall Sabres, second over Coyotes, third overall Red Wings. Fourth goes to Canucks, fifth to the Sanders. So they probably get, um, Adam Bockfist there, or as Zadina maybe, depending on Sveshnikov as uh, Kachuk, and maybe Bockfist gets moved up, I don't know, but one of those three, probably Bockfist gets picked there. Uh, sixth, Canadian, seventh, Edmonton Oilers. Back-to-back -back days, the Oilers get seventh overall, so that feels, wait, did they get seventh? Yeah, they got seventh overall yesterday, I believe, so that's that's fun. But, um, you know, that's, that's, that's what it is. Uh, let it, there it is. Um, let's get into the video, uh, and hopefully next time we do a video, uh, Sanders will win first overall. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for the lunch updates of the games and, of course, breaking news. As well, please check out our website, SenseTalkCentral.com. We update that every single day, and of course, please check out our sponsor, cjohn.ca, using the code Sense Talk to get discounts on your Sanders tickets. The next game is on Tuesday against the Florida Panthers. Great tickets are still available. Using the code SENSETALK, you'll get discount, discounts there. Description. Uh, the link is in the description. Um, before we get started, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Have a safe and happy uh, holiday as well. Uh, this is the Sen's first game versus former Senator Ian Cole. Cole was a senator for maybe 24 hours. Um, they acquired him from Pittsburgh in the Broussard trade and then traded him for a third-round pick, basically. So, ah... Uh, I guess technically it's the Sanders versus their former player, but you know, not really. Uh, Con starts tonight's game, and the rest of the lineup remains intact. Uh, happy birthday to Bobby Ryan. He's searching for career point number 500 tonight. Uh, we go to the first period, the starting goaltenders, like I just said, Mike Con for the Sanders, uh, who's been really good as of late, and the Sanders goaltending as of late has been really picked it up, and Sergei Bobrovsky. Uh, for the Columbus Blue Jackets, who I believe won six in a row. Ottawa has won three in a row going into this game. Quick note to talk about, actually, um, keeping on the Sanders goaltending. Um, the team looks much better when they have solid goaltending, like any other NHL team. Um, and this is hopefully next next season, if most likely it will be the same tandem, uh, that the goaltending can pick it up again and we can make a run back to the playoffs. Because um, if the goaltending plays like it has recently... Um, and the Sanders, you know, White, Logan Brown, uh, Gagne, Paul, whatever play, uh, Schlappick play the next season, and you replace that depth with those players, you can, I think there's something special that can happen next year for the Sanders. Uh, but let's get into tonight's game. To the first period we go, 12 minutes in, Jim O'Brien to Alex Burrows, he pokes it in, O'Brien, Jim O'Brien gets his first point in almost exactly five years. In 2013, March 16th, 2013, which was a five years ago in one day, Jim O'Brien got his last career point uh, against the Buffalo Sabres. This is his first point in five years. Alex Burrow's fifth of the year from Jimmy O'Brien, one nothing Ottawa. They get the first goal too, which is very rare to begin with. We move on now. Four minutes later, Boone Jenner shoots and scores. He beats Con and blocker side up high. Uh, this one was a weird one as uh, Thomas Vanek lifted up in his own zone, lifted it up, and it went all the way to the center zone, and it pickpocketed kind of Ben Harper, uh, the six foot seven defenseman, or uh, around that height. Couldn't c control the puck. It just bounced around him, and Boone Jenner picked it up and just beat Con and Blocker side. Tie game at one, heading to the second period, where uh, the Sanders are getting some momentum. Um, the, but the Blue Jackets, like I said, have won six in a row, and uh, a bad, stupid penalty after a nice play from Jim O'Brien, a patented drop pass to McCormick, back to Jim O'Brien, he shoots it, McCormick runs over Sergei Bobrovsky, obviously goaltender interference call on the ensuing power play, Nutavaro rips it past the screen, Conan, he didn't see it, his fourth of the year, assisted by Bjorkstan and the former Sanders, Nick Foligno on the power play, that was the game winner, uh, Sanders loses game 2-1, to one. um, 
and their first loss in four games. But there was more than this. Uh, there was more th- to this loss than just the regulation loss. Ryan Dezingle in that third period took a one-timer to the head from Mike Hoffman. A puck to the head on a one-timer from Mike Hoffman. Uh, he was conscious from the beginning. Uh, you can see it in the video on Sportsnet. Uh, he was conscious. Um, and he skated. He didn't skate in his own power, but he did skate off with the assistant um, uh, holding on to the assistant, I believe. But he, did, he looked like he was conscious. But uh, I'd be surprised. Hopefully not. But I'd be surprised if he if he escapes without some sort of injury, and I'd be surprised if he plays next game against Florida. I I don't want him to anyway, just in case. It's good to get a little break from him. Um, but yeah, hopefully Ryan Zingle will be okay. He's had a really good year, a twenty plus goal year, uh, breakout year for Ryan Zingle and. Um, that Hoffman, uh, Dzingle, Duchesne line has been the best line centers have had all season. And hopefully hopefully Dzingle will be okay. But the season's lost. Don't rush him back for no reason. Um, so the Sanders loses game, and hopefully and hopefully they don't lose Dzingle for long term. Uh, Shots goal 35-23 Columbus final. Power plays, Ottawa went 0 for 1, and Blue Jackets got the game winning goal in the power play that went 1 for 2. Uh, the three stars of the game, the third star, Sergei Bobrovsky, a 9.58 save percentage. Bob had a beautiful game, 24 shots on net, stopping 23. Second star, Boone Jenner with a goal, a 2 penalty minutes, a plus 1 rating. The first star with the game winning goal, Marcus Nitovara, with a goal on the night for the defenseman. Since off YouTube star of the night, Mike Condon, magnificent saves here and there, uh, kept the Sanders in it, especially in that second period. Uh, he had uh, 35 shots on goal. He stopped 33 of them for a 9.43 save percentage. Mike Conn has really picked it up as of late. Um, Going to pull up his stats here. Uh, this season, um, he has a 9.04 save percentage, which doesn't look good. Um, but I believe he'll probably pick up to 9.05, 9.06. Um, the Sanders goaltending has really gotten better as of late. Uh, you could look down the stat sheet with... Um, with Anderson, with Kahn, and etc., the goaltending has been much better. So you know, that's a bright spot to look at because hopefully the Senators' goaltending tandem will move on with that uh, to the latter part of next season, to start next season. And hopefully you, you need strong goaltending to make the playoffs. And this, like Matt Duchesne said, this is the he, this is the quote Matt Duchesne said to Taysom 1200 today. Um, uh, it was... Um, this is the ta- most talented group. Unfortunately, or fortunately, this is the most talented group I've been a part of that not make the playoffs. So, and then Eric Carlson uh, voiced similar words to TSN 1200 as well. So this could be a way the Sanders are trying to tell management you shouldn't go through a rebuild because the Sanders have a core here with the young pieces. Like I said at the beginning of the video, with Colin White, Brown, Schlappick, etc. You could put that as depth pieces, and you could keep Pyatt and whatever um, Pyatt and. You know what I mean, Pyatt, whatever. Um, you could have a contending team. Uh, it's only one bad year. Look what Colorado is doing this year. So I'm just saying, don't throw in the towel yet. If we, if the goaltending plays like this next year, uh, then then I agree. You can blow it up, uh, not fully, but blow up the goaltending tandem. Um, but I don't, I don't, I really don't think you should blow up this team. A retool, I agree with a rebuild is ludicrous um besides that the next standards game is tuesday so weird schedule back-to-backs here and there i don't i don't think that's a back-to-back game but i wouldn't be surprised if it is either that game is tuesday march 20th against the florida panthers in ottawa they're in a playoff chase so they're gonna be playing hard if you want to take that game see john does say using the code sense doc will get you tickets there that game's at 7 30 p.m eastern time at the canadian tire center besides that thank you all for watching the Sanders fall to the blue jack is two to one and um their the play, their lottery odds just got better so thank you all for watching please follow us on twitter at sense doc underscore for the updates of the games and of course breaking news please like us on facebook sense doc add us to circles local Google plus sense Talk. Click a big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video, share the video with every circle stuff. Please, please, please check out our website, sensetalkcenter.com. We update that every single day as well. Please click right here for the season playlist, right here for most recent upload, and right here to subscribe to us. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support. I'll see you Tuesday when the Sanders take on the Panthers. Go, Sense, go.